Uh, hey, yo, what's up gamers? Welcome back to another video. It's me again, Bullets Hotel. And today I'm going to be sharing some of my favorite things that I've made over, li over my life. Um, a lot of these are more like recent things because a lot of my old stuff I cannot find. I will be men mentioning them probably later in the video. Um, these things range in a lot of different media or not, um, not really, but like physical items, like jewelry and clothing and stuff like that and toys, whatever. Um, let's get started. Um, first of all, this blouse thing that I made. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm not saying that these things are like high quality, but these are just things that I like that I've made. They're not like the bestest things in the world. Um, this thingy, this is my lace blouse that I made. Um, I made it like last year, I think. Um, it looks much better when I'm actually wearing it, however, I don't wear it that often. Um, so you see, I, I used to wear this a lot, right? It, this used to be my most favourite thing. Um, I, of course, wear, wear, wear it with a um, tank underneath, but um, I used to wear it a lot until my parents, they started complaining about how I was just wearing too much black. <laughs> um, and that if I wanted to wear this, I need to wear it with blue jeans. I, however, hate blue jeans, and this is not going to look good with blue jeans, so I just stopped wearing it. Um, but it looks amazing on me. And you see, the thing, I, when, when I first came across this fabric, it was at, like, my school's, like, they have, like, this little donation center thing at my old school, where people just drop in their old clothing and people can take it. Um, and I saw this dress. Um, it looked go it looked gorgeous, and by gorgeous I meant the fabric looks like my grandmother's tablecloth, and the design of the shirt was, I mean the design of the dress was really big and it looked like a tablecloth. Um, but in the end I decided, hey, this will be perfect for a blouse, so I took it home and I made a blouse out of it. I've shown these off a bajillion times, but my fluffies, of course. I don't think I need to explain, but I just, I love my fluffies. I love my fluffies. Um, another thing that I sewed, this goofy looking uh, pre-game Shuichi doll. I made him when I was like 10 and he's been sitting in my closet since then, but I take him out sometimes so that he can breathe. Yeah, I'm never gonna finish him. <laughs> um, okay, okay, I think these are the last things that I sewed. But these these things, I made them a couple of years ago, and these used to be my favorite things. But I, I don't remember the time that I last wore them. Um, how do I put these on? But basically, I found the fabric again, like the blouse, from my school's donation center thing and I was just like oh my god these would be perfect for gloves and so I made these gloves out of them this is what it looks like I, I can't put the other one on because I'm a pedometer but this is what it looks like and I was just obsessed with them I love them so much and I used to wear them a lot and like they have little safety pins in them I, they were just the cutest things ever to me okay moving on to crochet things I don't really know how to crochet um, but I used to make these cute little flowers, and I was absolutely obsessed with them. I made a bunch of them. One time I made one for my friend Azari. I think she still has it. I don't know. And then I made this jellyfish that I used to wear. As you can, I mean, I, it has a key, so I, it was, yeah. Um, and it has little heart eyes, and it's, it's munted looking, but that's alright. Um, and last thing, th this, this thing... It's, 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 it's supposed to be a glove. I made this months ago when I, f this was like my first ever, like, actually, att attempt at crochet. I did not follow a pattern. I just wanted to make some gloves. Um, I don't remember the pattern because I, ju I just freehanded the entire thing. So I actually cannot make it another glove, even if I wanted to. Or I could, but it would just take forever because, yeah. Um, but that's all right. It looks decent, but I'm I'm happy that I spent hours making it, although it looks like poop. Uh, this thingy, wait, shoot, no, this it, it it falls out a bit, but this it's a spiked cuff that I made, um, and it holds my MP3 player, 
like you see there's a little thing in here it's a little bit piece of elastic I put my mp3 player um, in it and I there's like these little clasp things that I, I I put it on as a wristband thingy and it holds my mp3 player and so I can have my mp3 player on my wrist um, and then I can put my headphones in and move it around and it won't fall out because it's a tight elastic and I'm really happy about this I don't wear it that often though but I would like to wear it more often. Next up, these goggles that I made out of monster cans. Um, yes, it is falling apart. Yes, it is made of brown tape. That's all right. I think that's cute. And I admire my hard work. You see, with a lot of these things, a lot of them, they don't look the best. But I just like the, the, the dedication I put into it. You know, um, I wanted to make some goggles a couple of months ago. Because I was just like... Hey, I need another thing for my cyber goth attire. I need goggles. How am I going to get goggles? Make them out of what? Monster cans. Because those, that was, that, yeah. Uh, I made them out of import cans from the original. Um, and then I, like, brown taped them together with a little piece in between there. Um, and then I put some elastic on. And it, it may not look like it took a lot of work, but you know how hard it is um, getting the top of the import cans off? Because like, it wasn't just the normal original cans, we could just get like the, the, the can opener and do that. It, this, I actually had to freehand cut it. And I probably got cut a lot, I don't remember. And then I put some green nail polish on there to make the green bit. Yeah. Next thing, this was a spiked cuff that I made a few years ago, because you see, I really wanted to get a spiked cuff. However, I did not want my mother knowing that I had a spiked cuff. So what I did was, I found just random scraps of fabric, right? And then I got like these little, um, you know, like, old pins, um, and then I, I got the tops off the old pins, and then I hand stitched them on. I hand stitched the entire thing. I was going to use my sewing machine, but, you know, I, I didn't want my mother to know that I had a spiked cuff because, ooh, scary, am I right? Um, and then I used some old cruddy little button. And does this still fit me? I don't know. It it, it looks super goofy, but I, I, I like that I did it. I think that it was pretty creative. Yeah, it looks like that. Of course, I have my, my monster belt, which is my personal favorite thing ever. Um... It's still in progress. It's not a, it's not a belt yet, but I'm like halfway done. This necklace that I made last year, um, it's it's kind of tangled up, but it it look it looks it it looks it. Wait, oh hey look, this is my this is another earring that I made. Um, that yeah this this is what it looks like. Um, what's it called? I was super proud of it, and I was showing it off to my friends, right? What I didn't notice is that it actually looks kind of phallic. <laughs> it's fun to laugh at now, but I, I didn't, I, I did not realize it until my friends pointed it out, and they were just like, "Hey, you tower, don't you think it looks a little, you know?" And I, I looked at it, and I was just like, "Uh, it, oops." <laughs> Last thing, TW Blades, this. You guys may not know what this is. It's, this is the thing that I used to cut my hair. You see, sometimes, because I, I, I used to just use a pencil sharpener, and I would just use the pencil sharpener. But then I thought, hey, wouldn't it be cool to make a tool? So then I made this thing, and it has a little handle, and it's brown taped together. Uh, yeah, that was all. Actually, no. um, notable mention, Rover. I, my nan and I, when I was first getting into sewing as like a little kid, um, my nan, she decided to use some of her old, um, like, quilt fabric to help me learn how to sew, and we sewed this, it, it, it's a dog seal, and his name's Rover. He's in my closet. I'll show you guys him soon. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get all the latest updates. Bye guys.